Hi guys, um, just a quick video to look at polynomial long division. Now, we've already looked at standard long division, so if you want to have a look at those videos, please click here in the box. Okay, now, what we got here is a cubic, because you see the power of 3, divided by x minus 2. And obviously that's pretty nasty. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write it out in a standard sort of long division way. We're fortunate here that the powers are in a descending order, so uh, make sure your powers always are descending. We don't want um, x to the 2 and then x to the 7 here, uh, because that's, that's not how we want to, to go ahead with the process. Now the first step is to take the highest power of the, the denominator here, which is x. Sharpie problems. Um, and divide that into x cubed. So essentially, we want to see uh, what it takes to multiply with the x uh, to become x cubed, if you will. So here we have x squared, because x squared times by x is x cubed. Now, I'll help you out by circling here. What we do is we multiply x minus 2 by x squared and write it out here. So we have x to the power of 3 and minus 2x squared. And now we simply do the substitution. So we of course have 0 here and we have 8 minus minus 2 which is of course 8 plus 2 which is 10 x squared, and now we drop down the rest of the equation. And quite simply, we repeat the first step on 10x squared. So we divide the x into 10x squared, and we get 10x. Because obviously, 10x times by x is 10x squared. And now we multiply. 10x squared by x minus 2, which gives us 10x squared, obviously, minus 20x. We do another substitution. Now, what you'll notice is that we're always aiming to sort of cancel out the, uh, the number we're dealing with, and that's how we end up breaking our way through. So, of course, we have 0. We have 3 minus minus 20, which is, of course, 23x minus 21. Repeat the same process. x into 23x goes 23, because 23 uh, times by x gives 23x. And we multiply it out again. So we have 23 times by x minus 2, which gives us... 23x. Now, 2 times 23 minus 46. And we do another substitution here, and that leaves us with 25. Now, I hear you wondering, what do we do with the 25? Well, that is the remainder. And you'll often find that you have a remainder when you're dealing with this process. So, with the remainder, you simply stick it on top of the original de uh, denominator. So we write out x squared plus 10x plus 23 plus 25 over x minus 2, just like this. I uh, hope that video helped you. Any, uh, any questions, any comments, just underneath. Cheers.